That was rough. What we got here is the Eligu 4 Max. Big printer. When I talk about big, I mean like big. 16 inches by 16 inches. Dude, my battery's at 60% and it just keeps dying. I might have to use my iPhone. But since the battery just died, I gotta get my scissors. I haven't touched it. It just sat here. I took off my hoodie. But it's live reaction. This thing's huge, dude. This thing, it's like CR10S Ender 3 Pro can easily fit in it. Kind of situation. Holy moly. Look at that. Monster. So, what am I going to be using this thing for? I am actually planning on using it to make car parts. See what I can do. There's no point in taking that out. Take a look at this thing, dude. This thing. Oh my gosh. So let's get this big printer up onto here. See if it even fits. I doubt it will. By the size of it, I over underestimated it. So let's move this carefully. Grab my phone. Take a look at this thing. Actually, I might have to flip the other way around because the plug is right here. I have to move that power switch, Ethernet, internet. What else? Just a couple plugs. Does my phone just not want to focus? A couple plugs here and there. I'm just amazed by this size. It's huge. It's huge. Biggest printer. This is it to the Ender 3 Pro. Ender 3 Pro can fit on the bill plate of this. That, that is just amazing. So I'm going to flip it around real quick. Little flip. Probably, let's take a look at what else is in the box. I doubt there's anything else. Yeah, nothing. I'm going to get the instructions, put the top on, figure out from there. I'm going to do that off camera though. So let's get into it. Ah, oh, finally. So I finally got this thing all done. It did, it was pretty good actually in, uh, in building wise, but just, it's just time consuming. Very simple instructions, very liked it. So we got the direct drive here, so it goes right in there. Pulls back, you push back on this, releases it. You have the switch here. Little switch, you got the spool holder. So for that, I don't know what filament I'm going to use to test it, but I will be using one, maybe the test, because it came free with it. I won't say free, but came with it. Uh, it's not big enough for 2K spools, but it's good enough for one. These bars are in. Everything's plugged in, I'm pretty sure. Now all I have to do is power it on. Hopefully it doesn't explode. I, I am scared. Also very excited. Ready? Whoa. LED lights. And this is going off. One of the best things about this thing. Oh my gosh. The drawer feels so nice. It comes with a little drawer with for all the tools. So I'm going to put all the tools in here. Here's the nozzle. You can see that. There's a nozzle, just the extra bits and pieces, USB drive, system's currently starting. Man, look at that. So I will be pushing it back a little bit more so I have room 
Actually, I'm going to do that right now. There we go. So I guess we'll connect to the Wi-Fi. And I will get all this done. Okay, I almost kind of forgot about the video. Finally, I had the stepper motor thing problem going on with the Neptune 4 Max. That, I somehow fixed the firmware by just resetting it and it fixed itself. But we're going to print out the Benji here. Dang, I clicked, I clicked the wrong button, I'm so sorry. We're printing out this Benji here. I printed out multiple. This glue sucks. Finally got leveled. If we shoot over here, print failed, but it did come out slightly okay. Uh, there was a little bit of a layer shift. So actually, I did find out the glue does not suck. My leveling was really bad, and I used way too much glue, so it would just not stick. But now every time I use the printer, after I got the leveling and glue down, it works perfectly smooth. The best printer I have right now. Thing heats up incredibly fast. I love how there's LEDs there and there. So if I do time lapse videos, the only problem is it shakes like crazy. But we're going to figure out what's next. So I finally got the Benchies to actually print. Here's my two files. My GoPro didn't pick up the quality really well, but they did come out really good for 20 minute prints. These things only took 20 minutes at 0.2 millimeters, and that's insane because as a 0.4 uh, millimeter nozzle for 20 minutes, I'm so used to the Ender 3 Pro, which it would have took almost like an hour, but I would definitely recommend this printer. It wasn't a bad price of like $500. I am not sponsored or anything. I wouldn't recommend it to a beginner though due to the problems, but if you're definitely like dedicated to or towards a printer, I would definitely recommend this one. Even though it's a single color, it does not mind me that much because I only print in single colors. And if I want to change something up, I'll just go into Cura and change the pause at the G code. But this thing is huge, but it's also fast. It heats up really quick other than the bed. The bed does take a little while. But this printer is just great. I actually haven't been using any of my other printers for a little bit because I haven't been doing big projects yet. But I just, if I had a little print I need to do, I would just toss it right on this printer and would get it done as quick as possible. And way better quality than any other printer I have right now in the short amount of time. If you liked today's video, please drop a like down below and subscribe. Take a look at my past videos if I said anything or even learn about what I'm doing. I do have a lot of future projects that are coming up that are involving RC cars, such as a LMP1 RC car body, a little teaser that's coming up very soon, and a RC car that I'm not going to spoil too much, but it's definitely coming. So expect some good content coming soon. A little bit busy right now, but just don't worry, I'm not leaving you guys hanging.